So I feel like it all started in grade four. Um, I started getting really bad brain nods and I hated going outside for recess. It was like the worst thing ever. My hands were like completely blue. Um, and I would always want to be inside because I was so cold. Um, so that was my first symptom and I had gone to like my GP and they had said like, oh, you know, it's rain odds, like it's not really associated any with anything and that was kind of like the end of that. Um, and then further down the line, I started getting like weird, uh, now what I know is calcinosis, uh, but they were thought they were just bad cysts on like my elbows and I, I think I had some like on my fingers and stuff that I just had removed over the years. Um, but none of it really made sense. I had all these like weird symptoms, a couple of like GI stuff as well. Um, and then it wasn't until I, I had a really big cyst or calcium deposit on my middle finger. And I had gone to my doctor because it was like, I couldn't even write at some points, like it was so swollen. But uh, they thought it might've been rheumatoid arthritis because it really resembled that. And also my Nana lived with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, so from there, she sent me to do blood work and then all the red flags went off. And then um, I had gone to a rheumatologist or referred to a rheumatologist and then to a scleroderma specialist where I was like officially diagnosed. And that was between the years of 2018 and 2019. Um, so from there, then I was obviously a bit confused at this point in my life. Like I was in my second year of university, it caused a lot of anxiety for me. I was missing a lot of school for doctor's appointments and, um, you know, having to get scans and all these new things that I just, I was so unaware of. And they also, um, I mean, obviously, you know your condition relatively well, but to hear that, oh, you need to get an MRI, a pulmonary function test, and X, Y, and Z. It's like, well, I don't know how bad my condition is. And so at that point, um, and neither did my rheumatologist because, you know, they didn't have any of the, the medical imaging to back up anything at that point. So that was, I think, my biggest fear in second year. I was like, am I going to have to drop out of school? Like, you know, it's my whole life going to change in like, you know, a flip of a coin that was like absolutely terrifying. It's actually like scary to like talk. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot that that was like a whole part of my life. But um, from there, obviously I, I didn't have any um, internal involvement that was like super bad or anything like that. So I was still okay to keep going with school, just kind of live my life as I was beforehand, just with this new knowledge that I was diagnosed Vanessa, not <laughs> pre-Vanessa who wasn't diagnosed and had weird symptoms and whatnot. Um, and then I had decided to fundraise for the Scleroderma Society of Ontario because they had uh, their annual June awareness campaign. Um, so I decided to get involved with that. And I had just like sent it to a couple of my friends and family and whatnot and like posted it like quickly on my Instagram and it blew up, which was like something I was not expecting. I think I raised like $5,000 within like a couple of days. Like it was like pretty astounding. I was like so shocked. Um, and beautiful, like I was like, oh my God, like I just shared my story and people were like so receptive to that. Symptoms wise, I would say I'm, I'm relatively steady. Like I always have been pretty steady. There's obviously, um, you know, hills and valleys, but <laughs> uh, yeah, some days are better than others, but I think for right now, I have a decent hand on, on my symptoms and everything.